everyone, welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie and today I am giving you the gym tour here at the Learn to Play Child Care Center. Now this originally, I'm assuming it was used as a classroom. In fact, I know it was used as a classroom in the previous um, daycare that was here or child care center that was here, but I wanted an indoor gym. It was really important to me, you know, living in the Northeast. <laughs> we have a lot of crappy weather. A lot of times in the winter we cannot go outside. A lot of the times in the summer, it's either raining or too hot and we can't go outside. So I wanted to utilize this space to give the children another option, another area to run around. And the only drawback that you'll see is that there is the preschool room off of this. So I'll show you how I decided to like divide it up and I'll kind of give you a rundown of how the schedule will work because the other classrooms, this will be scheduled gym time. Just because when preschool is doing the preschool, I don't want other children in here running around. Just, there was no way to separate it. And clearly I wasn't gonna be able to like build a wall there. So with that being said, let me give you a quick overview here and then I'll go over everything and let you know where I got certain things at and kind of my idea behind the design of this gym and so on and so forth. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This was the first room in the center that I even really gave thought to when I first saw the center. I was like, yep, that's going to be an indoor gym. Let's, you know, let me decide how I'm going to do this. Okay, so as you can see, I did paint all of the doors like the rest of the facility in that shadow mountain gray. This wall is the same blue that is in the toddler two room wall. That was the oops paint for $9. This exit, this way sign is from Hobby Lobby. I want to say that was 50% off, so it was probably $25. I originally had planned on putting like the Spider-Man decal. I'll show you a little bit later right there. But when I got the decal, it was a lot smaller. So I didn't put anything there. Most of the time, obviously, this door will be shut. So I just simply have that exit sign. This room right here is the maintenance room. So that room will always be shut. And as soon as I put the final coating on all these doors, I'm going to have like a sign on there that says, you know, maintenance room, keep out, like staff only or whatever. Right here is their superhero station. I got that and all of the metal signs from Hobby Lobby. I think that big sign was only like $20. And then I got the little rack right here, the hook rack from Hobby Lobby as well. That was probably either $10 or $20. These capes I got off of Amazon. Now it showed that it was a six pack. In reality, it was only a three pack because they're double sided. I don't think I'll keep the mask on here, but for my open houses, I have the mask on there. So I am kind of bummed. I need to buy, you know, at least two more. That hook is only a five hook. So I need to buy two more of those. This right here is part of like a traffic signal collection that I bought off of Amazon. I'll link that below. It does have like, a, right now it's on manual. It does have like an auto, um, light right here as you can see like the little guy is red and then it goes to like green and stuff when you leave it on auto it makes noise though so you kind of have to just leave it on manual which is fine the kids can play around with that these two little cars right here are from walmart i got those online for 35 dollars each and then this little superhero rug i simply just had at my home daycare so i brought that here here is that indoor bathroom that i showed earlier this bathroom houses the children on this side of the building. I simply just did all of this in like an adventure theme. I painted the stalls because they were looking a little rough and they were a special size, like a special order if I would have ordered them. And so I decided not to do that. And then all of the wall decor and stuff is from Hobby Lobby. On the outside of this, I simply <laughs> made this little outhouse sign I got that log piece from Hobby Lobby and then the two bears I painted black and then just some lettering that I got from Hobby Lobby. I thought it kind of was fitting for the bathroom. So I knew I wanted to do some kind of like log cabin. And then when I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw the welcome to the ranch sign. And I believe I got that sign for $20. And I'm like, you know what? I already had this paper from before, from when I ordered it on Amazon. I'm like, let me put this up here and see how it looks. And I think it looks great. I'm very happy with it. This room has like a window into the bathroom. And so I got those shutters on either side from Hobby Lobby. And then I got all of the decor on here from Hobby Lobby as well. When they're like table 
stuff is 50% off. So each of these probably ran me about six, seven, eight dollars each. I think they're so cute though. <laughs> they're pretty heavy too. Um, over here, I got these little, I don't know you guys, is it a bull? I don't know, whatever, some kind of antler thing going on. So I put one on both sides of the sink. I did have to replace the um, soap dispensers. I got those off of Amazon. This was a freebie I found on Google. I just simply Googled hand washing signs. So I put that there. We did change out both faucets because this one originally was broke. So I think those faucets were $30 from Home Depot. This waste basket is from Home Depot for 20 bucks. And then this mat right here is like an all weather mat that is like water resistance. That was like 20 bucks as well from um, Home Depot. Then we have to have our fire extinguisher, our evacuation map. And then I put this black paper, it's like um, like a ridged paper for my paper store, all along the wall on this side of the center. So I just continued it like right here. This is the little firehouse. <laughs> this black thing right here that's supposed to represent a garage I got from a local antique shop. And then here is that paper that's on top the border. As you can see, it's like ridged. I just put it behind there. That firefighter drive sign is from Hobby Lobby. That was $10. That black piece right there was $60 from the antique store. Then the little fire truck was from Hobby Lobby. I want to say for $10, you guys, I'm like, can Hobby Lobby please just sponsor me? Because literally the majority of my center is like Hobby Lobby. Um, right here, if you saw my last video, if not, I'll link it above or below or wherever. The toddler one room, I showed you their little art station. I talked about how it was like a two-piece kitchen set I got from a daycare that had closed. This is the other piece. I think this was supposed to be the oven. I painted it red. I had these little letters. I think I got those letters actually from um, the Dollar Tree. And then I ordered like a Cozy Coop fire um, replacement stickers. And so I ordered those off of Etsy. I think those were like $10 and I put those on the front. This board was from Hobby Lobby. I painted this red. I want to put something on here that like represents like a street. So I need to find something to go there. I got this like little light switch. I was looking for like little gadgets to put on here for the kids to do. That is from the Dollar Tree. Again, here's part of those stickers. And then this is what inspired this whole piece. I found this at a thrift store for like a dollar or $1.99. I kept the little knobs on here that were from the stove. And then I just put two little like fire hats down there. So I thought this would be like fun. This is like a little interactive little piece they can do here. And this wallpaper is from Amazon. I have this in the housekeeping area, I believe in the preschool room. I bought this cozy coop. Again, I'm never putting together cozy coops again because that was just way too time consuming. I believe I got that on Amazon. And then I got this metal plate. If you recall from one of my earlier videos when I first was showing a tour of the bathroom, I was going to put like this metal plate around the bottom pieces of those stalls because they were like rusted, but then we ended up sanding them. So I put that up here. I painted these um, letters to spell out fire. And then these lights are the same lights that I have in my preschool room and the market area. So I got these in white and then I just put red sparkly um, cardstock in there to represent lights. This cubby is off of Amazon, I want to say, probably for like $200. I got these two. I think these are Melissa and Doug fire outfits. And then they came with the hat and like the bullhorn, the little fire extinguishers. And then I got two police officer sets because next to the fire station is the police department. So those were off Amazon as well. I think each of these were like $20 for each set of these. I am going to be putting an Echo Dot here, so I need to take that out of the box. And then at our local five and dime store, I came across this ladder. I thought it fit perfectly. I was going to originally paint it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just put it above the little cubby area. And then I just have it simply hung on with hooks. I don't anticipate the teachers taking this off. It's not, it's just kind of for wall decor. And then I just made these simple little fire flames. I kind of, I took the fire flame from the preschool room, the little camp flame or whatever, and I just made them in different colors over here. We did put all new cordless blinds in here. Oh, and this right here, this rug, this fire station rug is off of Amazon. I want to say that was probably like $50. 
One of the things I wanna point out as well is that the children in my home daycare are obsessed with the floor is lava. So I found these decals and I'm kind of bummed because I definitely thought they were gonna be bigger. So I put one right here. I think these were all off of Amazon, I think for like 10 or $12 each. I put a second one and then I ended up ordering a third one just because like I said, they're not that large as you can see. But I'm sure the kids are gonna love them. I know if I had this in my house, the kids at the daycare would just go nuts. So I don't know how well they'll stay on the ground, especially with like mopping and stuff. They may only last a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but that's okay. They weren't that expensive. Moving on, I have the police department. I think, again, I have this same paper in the preschool room. This is like a white brick paper. The two windows right here are from Hobby Lobby, and then I just spray painted them black. They were in their wood section. I want to say for like $10 each. And then I got these two little like police cars there for a dollar each. This is that Spider-Man decal I was talking about putting on the opposite side of the room by the exit door. And as you can see, it's very small. So my daughter's like, mom, put it like in the police station and it looks great. I love it. She's like, it looks like they're like busting out of the jail. So I think the kids will get a kick out of it. This clock right here is from Hobby Lobby and I want to say that was $20. I thought it just looked so great in between these two windows. And then I just painted this LTP and then I just brushed it with like blue paint. This bench, if you recall, was originally going to be in several different places. First, it was going to be in the office. I got this from Target for $100 and then I had it in the hallway but it's not the most sturdy. I mean, it's sturdy for kids, don't get me wrong. It's brand new, there's nothing wrong with it, but for the entryway, I wanted a more sturdy bench. So when I do that tour, you'll see that I got like a heavier wood bench to go there. These cozy coops, one was from Wayfair and one was from Amazon. I think they were 50 or $60 each. Up here is that same wood like design that I have on the fire station little interactive thing. I simply just painted this one black and then I painted the police letters blue. And again, I went with those light bulbs from um, Home Depot. Those were only like $6 each. And then I put blue glitter paper in there. Over here, I found this like missing and this wanted poster off of Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll leave that seller listed below. I thought these were really cute. And then I put it 911. And then I found this phone <laughs> online. I thought, how perfect. You know, originally I had a cord, but I don't know if State would go for that. So I took the cord off. But I thought, how funny, like they can pretend like they're calling like 911 to catch the bad guy. I think that phone was like 40 bucks on Amazon. Now, this area right here is what inspired the whole gym. I was thinking about it today. I was like, what did I first purchase for the center? And I want to say it was both of these basketball hoops from Hobby Lobby. These were $50 each. Maybe not. Maybe they were $35 each. Maybe they were $70 normal and then $35 each. I'll leave that link below. And then I just put the learn letters on one side and then the play letters on the other. But this is what inspired it. I was like, you know what? Let's do some kind of like basketball court here. And I wasn't sure what to do with the background of this. And so I just ordered this paper off of Amazon. And I think it looks good. At first I was like, maybe I can like do some kind of like stadium paper. But I had this like scoreboard and the stadium paper wasn't like the correct length and width and stuff that I needed. So I just went with a basic plain background. And then I got these basketball decals off of Amazon. And I think those were like $30. It came in a set of three. So there's one. And then over here is the other one, and I didn't use the third one. These basketball signs are from Hobby Lobby, I think for $10 each. This scoreboard is actually in a picture frame that I had bought from the secondhand store for like eight bucks. I put some like contact paper from Joanne Fabrics behind there, and then the actual scoreboard design is off of um, Amazon as well. I think that was like $30. I had ordered a smaller one and it was too small. So I think the smaller one was like 15 or 20 and then this one may have been $30. And then right here, this game ball, do like a little side view. This was $10 from Hobby Lobby, I wanna say. And then I just put a regular basketball there. And then down here, I ordered this ball cart for $40 off of Amazon. And then I found these softer balls. They, they bounce, but they won't like ruin the wall. Like I don't, the children are not to use that. That's just for like 
looks. And so I had these other basketballs that they can use on the hoops right there. And then I just put some other balls and stuff in the Dollar Tree. So that is that. And then over here, this is what my daughter suggested to like block off the preschool room so that it wasn't a total open space. I don't know why they only did half a wall when this was always like two different rooms. Like it would have just echoed and been so loud. Not that like this curtain is going to stop the echoing, but at least when the children, you know, the preschool children won't always just be looking in here. So I bought the curtains, I want to say off of Amazon and the rod. It's like I Googled like, you know, backdrop rods and I think the rod was like $70 and you can adjust it and it comes out further. And then the curtains were like 20 or $30 on there. Here are some more of those traffic signs that went along with the one in the superhero station. I thought these were really cute. They can like put them on the ground and move all around. Over here, I just have a basket with yoga mats. I am gonna have yoga instruct from a certified yoga instructor here, the daycare. So I found these really cute animal yoga mats at Target. They're all different, like a tiger one. I don't know what other ones there are, but they were $5 each in the Target dollar spot. This coat rack right here, these coat racks right here, they're gonna be for the toddler two room. If you recall, the toddler two room is over there. And that, the only way to get to that toddler room is to walk through the preschool room, walk through the gym and walk out. So we'll see, we'll see how these work out. I have these right here for the preschool room. They're expensive, they're heavy. I don't think I could have hung those right here. So we'll see how these work out, I don't know. I may have to figure something else out, but for right now, it is what it is. On this wall, I wanted to do some kind of like gas station slash garage. So I ordered this paper, again, I have from in the preschool room. I thought it looks so great though on this to like represent, you know, that gas station vibe, the gray ship lap. Both this gray truck and the red truck are from Hobby Lobby. I want to say those were $25 each. This mirror set that is to represent the garage, I guess garage doors, is from TJ Maxx. I think they were $16 each. And then I got that garage sign from Hobby Lobby, I want to say for like $10. So, of course, every gas station slash garage has to have a tool chest. And my husband gave me so much grief because he's like, I don't even have a tool chest. <laughs> so I got this Craftsman tool, tool chest off of Lowe's website. I think it was like $170, $180. And I, what I like about it is that you can lock it. So when you, I think the drawers only open, yeah, when the key is in there. So in here, I have more yoga stuff, different stuff for like the fitness instructor that I've hired, like stuff for them to do fitness class with, but the kids can't get into it. So I do like that. On top, I just put some tools in case they want to work on their cars, some little cones, again, if they want to like do some kind of obstacle course in here. And then I put another set of these cards that were in the toddler two room. I brought some out here. I was thinking I may put some kind of like towel there or something. That'd be kind of funny. This little gas station. Oh, before I get to that. I got this clock off um, from Walmart for $20 or $25. I like it because it looks industrial. So in each room, I definitely want a clock so that everyone knows what time it is. Back to the gas station. The Texaco sign is from Hobby Lobby. I want to say that was $25. This right here, you guys, I bought that, gosh, I don't like eight, nine, ten years ago from an antique shop. I have been wanting to do something with this in my own home forever. And it's literally just been in my garage and like three different moves. And I have brought it with me each time. And finally, I have something that I can do with it. So I designed a little gas pump. My original design had like an actual standing gas pump in this gym. I wanted to put two wood gas pumps, but with time and... Just room in here, we didn't have room. So I thought, you know what, let me just put this on the wall. Um, I, you know, I dragged this out from the garage, I brought that. And then this is just a piece of plywood I painted. I did the stickers on my Cricut machine. And then one of my husband's vendors at work um, made this for us. We gave him the dimensions and then he made us this plate to put at the bottom. I found this gas pump from 
Amazon. I think this was like 20 or $25. And I was like, how can I hook it up? This is just a hose I got from the local like thrift store for $2. It's like a garden hose. I hot glued it in there and then hot glued it onto the wall. And then I bought this from Walmart, hot glued this on here or nailed it on here, one of the two, and then just inserted the gas pump on it. So it shouldn't come off. I mean, I'm hoping that it doesn't come off. <laughs> but I just love the way this looks. I think it looks so great. And then this um, Texaco sign up on top was $10 from Hobby Lobby. This little lighthouse or this like traffic light I've had, again, I bought that at like, I think a thrift store or garage sale or something for like five bucks years ago. I wish it was battery operated and it's not. Um, it has to be plugged into the wall. So I had the um, outlet, the plugs tied behind there. So it's not gonna light up. I did put a hand sanitizer in here. I got these off of Amazon. I put several new ones throughout the facility. I think they were like 20 or $25. The start your engine sign is from Hobby Lobby for $10. That stop sign is the final piece of that traffic set. And then here's the two engines, the two little radio flyer tricycles. Those were from Walmart and I got those for, I think $40 each. I bought those so long ago. <laughs> I thought it was just a really cute little thing underneath that start your engine sign. So the last part of this gym Last, but definitely not least, and definitely almost like probably one of my favorite things in here are these three gym equipments. First, the mats are all from, I think TJ Maxx and Ross. They, no, I take that back. One set was from Ross for $10. I couldn't find any more. So then I found the other two from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think I paid 12 or $13 each from them. But then recently I did come across these at TJ Maxx for $10. The equipment, all three pieces, are from Walmart. And I think they are each in like the $100 range. I'll put the links below. So as you can see, there's a little like elliptical and the kids just can get on it and it moves back and forth. I saw these on a daycare's like Facebook page, like a daycare in a different state. And I'm like, what is that? I have to have that. And so when I Googled it, I found out that they were from Walmart. Maybe other sellers carry them too, but I found them on Walmart's website. Right here is a little workout bench. So like this lifts up. I thought this was so cute. And then right here, the little bars. Like this is not heavy, guys. I mean, it's not light, light, but it's definitely not heavy. The kids are not going to injure themselves with that. And that's like literally foam and stuff. And here is what I like to call the little mini Peloton bike. It actually does work. When you do like the feet pedals, you can turn it on. It'll like tell you there's like little resistance. Then you can like restart it. When I did my open house last week, the kids that came through here, they just loved all three of these. So I thought this was fun. I thought, you know, the kids can use the cozy coops or those bikes or the tricycles, and then they can just kind of go all around here in the gym. So that's why I put it in the middle. And I really didn't want to block too much of the basketball hoop area but they can put these signs up you know I love this gym because they can just be used in so many different ways like like I said I'm going to have yoga once a week for the kids I'm going to have a physical fitness trainer come in once a week for the kids I may do karate these things can easily just be moved right here they can use the mats they can use the yoga mats and then they have this whole entire area. And I'm thinking even like for holidays, if we do some kind of like holiday event, this gym is pretty big. You know, all of this stuff can easily be moved. Nothing besides the stuff that's on the walls, everything else can easily be moved. So, and I wanna say, I forgot to mention one little thing right here on this interactive like fire truck. I did, like for the wheels, I got these little circle things. These were in the party section at Hobby Lobby. Like when you go down, they're like um, kids section, like party decor and stuff like that. These are actually little chalkboards. I got those for $4 each. And then I got those little wooden fire trucks for a dollar each. So all in all, guys, I don't even know how much I spent in this room. <laughs> I always do these videos and I'm like, let me see, how much did I spend? I don't know. So maybe I, <laughs> I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the description box. This room was definitely on the pricier side, um, but I love this room, you guys. This, I love the gas station. It's probably my favorite part. I don't, I just, they're all my favorite parts. You know, I love the whole telephone thing for the police. I love the basketball court. 
I don't know. I've never seen a gym like this before. So I'm hoping that the kids just love it. I hope it comes across on camera or in pictures as, you know, great like it is in person. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think the kids are going to think? I, I really hope that they're going to love it. You know, those three blinds will go up. So there's lots of natural light in here. And then there is the light, you know, the windows that go out to like the main hallway and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. That is the indoor gym. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. Follow me on my first commercial daycare. Now I know what you guys are thinking, like, this is a daycare? <laughs> I always, like, tell people this is my house, you know, on steroids that I wanted to bring definitely a different vibe to a commercial daycare. I want to bring the home daycare vibe to it. Um, and I think I'm accomplishing that. I hope that I'm accomplishing that. But that is it. So be on the lookout for the next tour. I think I'm going to do the kitchen and bathroom and hallway tour next. So that should be uploaded this Sunday. Today is Wednesday. I'm going to upload this tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do those three this coming weekend. And I thank you guys all so much for your patience for all my subscribers. Like I said, I know that I've been MIA the last couple of weeks. I've only uploaded a couple of videos, but I'm just trying to get everything done. And like, I'm just now waiting for state to come in and give me the green light so I can open up. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.